Good morning, happy Tuesday. Today I pulled a, I'm just gonna show you this picture, a Wild and Feminine Sacred Deck card and I got Threshold with the word intention. I'm trying to understand what that is. I think it's a person walking in a cave, I'm not sure. The opposite of intention is hesitation, with a shadow. I cannot tell anymore when a door opens or closes. I can only hear the frame saying, walk through. That's by Ada Limon. I'm not sure who that is. When you happen upon threshold, know that you've arrived at the holy space in between one state of being and the other. Across cultures, this liminal space is what separates the sacred from the profane, the known from the unknown. In the realm of the feminine, the vagina has been viewed as one gateway between heaven and earth. When we were in Okinawa, Japan, there are two kinds of big um, tombs, entrances, all down the side of the highway, different parts. Uh, some of the villages, some are turtles that you would return to the earth through a turtle. And that's like this big kind of sand or stone sculpture on the side of the road. And then the other is a vagina. And the idea that you're going, when you die, you're going back into the earth that birthed you. It's a gateway between heaven and earth. Today, the threshold greets your medial nature port ending that the time has come for you to move between worlds, to move forward. Coming upon this unexpected frontier may evoke hesitation. Fret not, at the portal of the unknown, the threshold gives you her medicine. In these defining moments when you temporarily inhabit a space between space, you may find liberation in uncertainty. Think about when you finish a job, you retire or you're packaged out. <clears throat> um, you might find blah, 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 blah. stripped of plans and distractions. You can land in the unshakable immediacy of who you are and where you belong. But first you must do your inner work, sometimes twisting and writhing to shed old ill-fitting identities. The word thresh refers to removing dry husks from fertile seeds, like you contain dormant potential. To cross a threshold, you must delve into the mystery of who you are at the core of your being. Lift any veils, lift any veils to prevent you from seeing the truth and craft a soul mirroring intention to propel you to the unknown. Anyone poised on a threshold must prepare to greet the guardians of the gate who personify fear and defend the status quo. Armed with an intention expressing your deepest longing, you must come face to face with any of these demons conspiring to keep you small. Offer the guardians gratitude for protecting you thus far. Then when you ask them to step aside and bless your journey onward, step across the boundary between past and future to enter the spacious landscape of evolvement. Here, any opening might be a threshold. Any leaving and entering a doorway is what's beyond. So I guess think about some threshold points in your life in the past. But also maybe you are thinking about a threshold that you're on right now and how to move forward, what decision to make. So for that, I'm going to work on balance and hovering between two spaces or two worlds, between air and land or ground. Let's start on that constructive rest. I'm gonna start with my arms by my side, palms cutting into the mat and pause. Let's take two breaths. Inhale one. Make sure I'm comfortable here. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. Let the lower back press down. Inhale three. Exhale. Now let's take the arms to open palm low 45 degrees like the arms of a clock. Three breaths here. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two, let the lower back be heavy and relaxed on the floor. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale. Option to come to a full T, spread the fingers, anchor the nails, roll the flesh of the arms back and the shoulders, pressing them down. Belly presses into spine, spine presses into floor. Chin lifts slightly to create a curve in the neck. Five breaths here. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. 
exhale. Inhale, spring. Exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale. Inhale, five. Exhale, heel. <clears throat> heel toe the feet to the width of the mat. And let's take three breaths here. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. And inhale, three. Exhale. Keep the knees wide, but let them fall to the right like a deep windshield wiper that we're not moving. Three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. If there's any pain, you're coming back to constructive rest. Inhale, two. Exhale. And inhale, three. Exhale, knees upright, wide and low to the left, checking with that right thigh. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale, and inhale, three. Exhale, let's do actual windshield wiper. So back and forth. You're going as far and as low as it feels good in your body. And then coming back to center, feet stay as wide as the mat. Let the thighs press into each other in the center. And instead of an external rotation outwards, we're taking the thighs internally rotating to center. Back to neutral, knees to chest, little boat. Let's take our knees to the left on the, to the floor on the left. Right arm opens to a T. Take a break here, three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale, inhale two, exhale, and inhale three. Exhale, back to center, knees to the floor on the right, left arm opens to a T, inhale one, exhale, inhale two, exhale, and inhale three. Exhale, back to center, little boat, or egg beaters. So you're going to take right leg in, left foot slowly lowers, and press the back of that leg into the mat, drawing right thigh in. Left hand takes right knee over, single leg spinal twist. Center, take that right knee out to the side. And then rock the baby if that's available to you. Flexed right foot, left hand grabs to hold that foot. Imagine that shin and uh, calf right across your belly. And then release. Back to constructive rest, three breaths. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. And inhale, three knees to chest. Let's keep left leg in, right leg extends. You can stir this a little bit. And then we'll take right hand takes left knee over, single leg spinal twist. Left shoulder stays down. Back to center, left knee wide. And then rock the baby. So flex that left foot, right hand grabs a hold of it. Rocking side to side. Knees to chest, little boat, or egg beaters. Let's take the knees wide and pause. And then coming into the setup for happy baby, hands behind the knees, pull those knees towards the armpit, pressing spine down. And then option to come into full happy baby. Rocking side to side. Soles together, 
pause. Soles to the mat. Let's take it with arms to a T first. Three breaths. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. And inhale three. Close the legs. Feet in the air. Point and flex. We're going to stretch out the back of the hamstring. Legs wide. Legs together. Somehow my strap is gone. Let's take a hold of right hand. It's going to hold right inner knee. Left leg out of the way. And slowly experience or play around with how wide can that leg go without the left hip lifting. Some of you might grab the toe. Some of you might use a strap. Back to center. Knees to chest. Little bow. Feet in the air, point and flex. Right leg's gonna lower out of the way. Left hand come inside the left leg, open and close a few times. Option to grab that toe. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, back to center, knees to chest, little boat. Point in the air, one more time, point and flex. Legs wide, hold those inner knees, three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale, and inhale, three. Exhale, close. Feet to the mat. Let's do a quick thread the needle. Right foot flexes onto left knee. And draw that left thigh towards you. Option to straighten that leg. And shake it out. Other side. Left foot flexes onto right knee. Draw that right knee and left foot towards you. Option to straighten that leg. And then release. Roll on our side. Help yourself come up. Let's come into extended child's pose. You want to find a place where you can stretch out and really wake up the back body. Option to keep the toes together, widen the knees, and slide that chest to the earth. And then come on up. Okay, let's do a quickie cat cow. Bum in the air, wrists under the shoulders. Slowly looking up. And then engage the court, looking down. Follow the flow. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. <laughs> Cow. Cat. And then let's do a quick bird dog while we're here because we're going to be working with balance and there's a lot of solidifying the body, engaging the muscle groups to center, to stabilize the pelvis, the shoulders, the ankles. So let's start with right hand stays down, left knee stays down. I tuck my toe for stability. Right foot steps back, left arm reaches. Engage, pull it all together and lengthen. Keeping that left ear beside your bicep so you become head in line with the spine. Lengthen. Switch, left hand down, right knee down. Lengthen, switch, Le lengthen, switch, lengthen, switch, lengthen, switch, and last time, lengthen, undo, extended child pose.
and then upright. So because we're going to be doing things that involve long straight legs, comfortable stretch hamstrings will help. Always encourage you to keep that bend in the knee. So let's keep left foot leg down, legs in front, not way out here. Right foot comes in, so it's almost like I'm in a seated tree pose. And I'm going to hinge at the waist. And you have a choice. You can stare at your foot. You can use a strap. You could try to grab that foot. But I don't need you to drop the head. Chest comes towards thighs, looking towards your toes. And then come on out, switch, right leg straight out, left foot nestles inside, torso towards that straight leg. So I'm going to hinge or attempt to grab that foot. And then come on up, roll out your ankles, point and flex. Fan the toes, tiny forward fold in the middle. And then back up to tabletop. So I want to do quick frog pose. A lot of my friends struggle with tight hips, so we're going to come into tabletop. Option to stay here and walk the knees out, or Flex those ankles at a right angle, not everyone loves this, and walk it out. I'm going to cover my forearms so this isn't so intense, and I can lean forward to give my hips a little break, but then I can press my bum back to intensify the inner hip and groin stretch. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back, and then come on upright. We did windshield wiper on the mat. This is a seated version. I'm gonna take the hands behind me, knees are bent. I might take them to the floor on the right, and you might play around with pressing that left knee or thigh towards the earth, center to the left. Back and forth. Let's come to the knees to the right. Option to sit upright, now you're in. Mermaid. Option to push the floor away, torso stand straight. Option to do a tiny twist, counter twist, and then back to our windshield wipers, hands behind your back. So I did my legs that way, let's do them this way now. Knees towards the left, attempting to sit up straight. And come on out. Okay, let's see. Hopefully I have the camera back far enough. We're going to do some balance poses. First variation, you can be fully against a wall. There is no shame in that because the concept of being centered in a mountain has nothing to do with the structures around me. It's all in my head, my isometric pressure pushing the thighs together, the centering of the body, and the centering of the mind and breath, so body, mind, breath. It's actually mountain is the perfect mix of yoking or yogic yoga, combining those three things together with the least amount of movement. Looking down at my feet, they're about one fist width apart, much of my natural hip width. Shoulders roll back, fingers point down. And let's take five breaths, your choice, eyes closed, listening inside the body, or eyes softly open, staring at something that's not moving. Inhale, one. Exhale, shoulders relax. Inhale two, deep breath in. Exhale, feet get heavy onto the floor. And I notice a tiny bit of swaying that's naturally occurring. Inhale three. Exhale. Inhale four. Exhale. And the last one, make it more intentional. Clench the inner thighs and glutes together, almost like you're squeezing something between your inner thighs. Hands flex, fingers point down, shoulders roll back. Imagine the shoulder blades coming together. Engage. 
Smile on your face. Three breaths. Inhale one. Exhale. Don't lose that engagement in the thighs and glutes. Inhale two. Exhale. And inhale three. Exhale. Now you can start to swirl. I'm going to step forward so I'm not hitting the wall. Forward, side, back. I'm going clockwise, just a tiny swirl. Establish my centering in the middle of this. And then the other direction, trying not to let the feet lift up counterclockwise. And coming back to center. So today I wanted to experiment. We do a lot of stationary uh, balance poses, but I wanted to experiment between can one part of my body remain in that stationary pose while the other part is adding movement. That's what life is. You might be standing still in line and a lot of chaos is happening around you in your car, in lineups, in your family, in your work, in your life stage. So left foot lands, right foot, I'm gonna just do play around with it without moving. Straight, flamingo, straight, flamingo, straight, flamingo, and just do two more breaths, straight, Flamingo, you can do whatever you want with that right leg, straight, release, shift it out. Did you notice how much that other leg had to turn on to be present every moment of your cell? Right foot lands, hands can be heart center, hips, airplane, warrior one, yoga steeple, and here we go. Right foot is my standing leg, foot is actively engaged with the mat. Flex out, flamingo, hand to toe, Flamingo. Two more rounds. And release. Another variation I love to do without any hands, left foot lands, right foot becomes hand to toe, and then warrior three. Toes point down. Hand to toe. <laughs> I'm going to fall over. Hand to toe, warrior three. Maybe I'll play better with my arms out. Warrior three, toes point down. Slide that foot without touching the mat. Hand to toe. Option to grab the inner knee and open. Release, other side. One side might feel more natural to you. Right foot lands, left foot flex. Hand to toe, warrior three. Hand to toe, warrior three. Hand to toe, in front, back to warrior three, back to dancer. Oh my, and I think I need a little squat. Which of those balanced ones, if we were to stop them, is your favorite? I'd like to think that tree pose is the OG, the original. Okay, and then Press up. Let's try another experience. How about if I do it a standing and movement experience, but with bent knees? Is this a little easier? Knees are bent, coming into my easier version of squat. Hands out in front, attempting to sit down. Up, down. If this is not beneficial to your knees, do not do this. <laughs> reach out for somebody. Down, reach out. Hands to heart center, rise. Down, reach for the ball. Sit down. Oh, I can hear my knees creaking. And up. Nice. Let's do um, tree. No, actually, let's do eagle legs. Cross and sit. Uncross, stand. Cross and sit. Woo! Uncross and stand. Cross, find, Sit, up, release. Cross, bind, sit, up, release. And one more time. Back to the squat. If that feels good, up and down and up. Quickly coming into squat if that's in your practice. And let's come back to seated. I've had you moving a lot. Hands on my knees. Shoulders back, sitting up straight. 
left ear, left shoulder. And just pause. What if you didn't crank trying to get that deep stretch in? What if you let gravity lead the way? You can take your hands to the floor, let the shoulders release. Center, right ear, right shoulder, as gentle as possible, letting gravity be in control. Now while you're here, turn your face as if you were looking to your right hand. You're just getting a different spot. Back to looking at the ceiling, up. Left ear, left shoulder. Look down at your left hand. Back to the ceiling and center. Right ear, right shoulder. Look to the right hand that's on the floor. Back to the ceiling, center. Left ear, left shoulder. Look to the left hand. Look to the ceiling and back to center. Switch out your legs. Left ear, left shoulder. Center, chin to chest. Right ear, right shoulder. And I'm not gonna have you fully put the head back, but just gently look at the ceiling. Left ear, left shoulder. Center, right, ceiling. Left, center, chin to chest. Right ear, right shoulder. Ceiling, left, chin to chest. Right, ceiling. And let's come back and we'll do the opposite direction. Right ear, right shoulder, chin to chest left, ceiling, right, center, left, ceiling, right, center, left, ceiling, and back to center. Heat up your hands, give yourself a little massage, squeeze and release that skin up and down the neck and the shoulders. Awesome. Okay, our final reading today is from our beautiful poet, Canadian Ojibwe poet, Richard Wagamese. Sadly, he is no longer with us. Um, I can't remember the name of the book, but there's some very intense um, books that he has written about the reality of living in a residential school. Okay, this one, I don't know how sad it is. I spent years patrolling the margins of believing that from there I could observe and know from the outside. But the truth is I couldn't. And until I learned to walk into the center and even deeper into the center of the center where now is. Now is perfect. It's honest and elegant and pure. This moment, this quiet instant of mourning, writing in solitude becomes so much more when I know that I have an earth to plant my feet on, a sky to gaze up at and ponder the great mystery, and a heart beating blood through the vessel of my body. Open to everything, immune to nothing. I can live there, this life beyond the margins. And I talk about that often. How can I live life 100% fully engaged, fully present? Nothing is promised to us. What is something that you've been holding back from participating in fully 100%, authentically being gregariously involved. Thank you so much for your effort. The good in me sees the good in you. Namaste.